Hello, this is Lady Panaz, and welcome back to Dawn of Discovery. Actually, 30 minutes later for you. This game does not use WASD. This is an actual arrow game. You have to use your arrows. This dude is also exploring. There, This is as far out as you can zoom. Mm. Now, the plus and minus sign on the keypad it might actually be just the keyboard. We'll speed up the game for you. Now, as I hover over this, this is actually not bad. Hmm. I like to be close to him because I often trade with him. This is actually not bad. This is an indication of what is on the island. Cider and hemp. Both of which are important for your colonists. It's actually, not colonists, settlers. Let's go a little bit further out, see if we discover anything. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it's smaller, and it's still hemp. So we're going to go back to this big island, right here. We're going to settle here, and then we're going to send our ship on its merry way to find other islands. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oop. Plus sign. Some of this, a lot of the game, I will be spent speeding up. There we go. You go finish your thing. Thank you. Now we have things that we can do. First thing first, lumberjack. Because without a lumberjack, you don't make wood. Without wood, you can't build anything. So there we go. And everything has to be connected back to a warehouse. For those of you that have played Anon, Anon, uh, this is going to be a little bit more of a refresher, or you're just going to be like, I know all this. This is for people that haven't played, that are kind of interested in playing. And the Anon series is, a l m for the most part, this is it. I mean, there the graphics are better, and some of the other series, other um, the later versions, but this is it. You're usually some sort of not pi well, pilot is the best word I can use because in the 2205, you're I don't know, corporate lackey, yeah, maybe you're it's a city simulation. I don't know how. what else you're the mayor. This one here does not have the drag and drop feature. So you just have to do it this way. Oh, I forgot one other thing. Fish. No fish, your people don't eat. Your people don't eat. Yeah, they get crabby. So there we go. And he's already attached to the road. And there we go. And that is the beginning. Housing, small market building, marketplace, peasant housing. Marketplaces expand like, okay. See all this fog of war? You cannot build anything in this fog of war. You have to have something, which is usually a marketplace building, to open up the fog of war so that you can build things. <sighs> and they must connect to a previous exposed uh, location. You can't even do a road through a non-fog of war location. You just can't do it. Uh, more hemp and honey. Where'd you go? There you are. You are like right here. Thank you. We're gonna we're gonna do silly stuff. Go. Do, do, do. New construction. Oh, that was when I settled. Yay! Okay. Let's see. What are you doing? We are slowly building up our wood, and this is our tools. Now, tools are very very important, and you never have enough tools right away. There's iron, so we're good for that. 
iron. Oh, I always forget to check bride. Ooh, coal. Brine. Now this one doesn't have the pollution of the next one in this series. I forget how they go. There's one that's called 17 something. And then there's another. Ooh, this one has wheat. How big is it? But the most recent one is 2205. It's more of a modern day. Oh, we have to have you have to have enough people for your stuff to actually like. Hold on, neutral building. Okay, land ahoy. Okay, this shows you peasants, citizens, and as it goes up, it goes up. Uh, new construction, because we have. The next one is 90 peasants in order to open that stuff up. Now we have a cider farm. We need this here small market building. Now I want this to cover that. Oh, my dog likes to hide behind the couch. And unfortunately, he hasn't realized he's a small puppy. He just took out some stuff in my house. There we go. Cider farm over here and oop, we do not have enough wood and you can do an automatic placement of these if you want I don't like to do that I like to place my my plots, your, uh, not parentheses, greater than and less than sign, I don't know what they're actually called. Those ones are how you rotate your plot lands. And it tells you you need four or four for optimal things. So there we go. Now, these do not actually need to physically be connected to the previous one. They are connected magically with teleporters. Yeah, that's what we'll go with. And you, they're plodding along, getting their wood. Uh, we can put another one right there. More land has been sighted. There we go. And it is Orient. It is the Orient. Okay, let's go up and go this way. Guilford is growing. Oh, it's now a settlement. I have that many people. I... Hmm. Now, the only problem is, is when you first start out, your workers, you've got like three. See these little carts here? They have to go from point to point to point. Okay. And I think there's only one of them. And until you expand your warehouse, there's only, see, one. So the fish that we have here are going to sit. They, thank goodness they don't rot. But we have two. He went and got wood. See, zero wood. Now we have ten. New land discovered. Oh, he went and got the fish out of here. There's your little boat. And since he's full, he's not going fishing. Am I, do I not have a road there? Could have sworn. Oh, that's. Hmm. I guess I don't. If the road does not actually connect to the building, they will not go. They need a road. And that's a perfect example. I have a storehouse full of fish, and he wouldn't go. And now he's there. So there we go. Oh, and we got a church. A chapel. 
Now, when you click on your houses, you get a little thing here. The peasants are euphoric. It means they're very happy. They need Their need for food, satisfied. Their need for company, which is being connected to this. If I put a house just here, they wouldn't have their need for company. If there is no road, they don't connect. Except for the warehouses, who have magical teleporters. Okay? That's all I'm going to say. Here, they need a drink. Now, what kind of drink? Ah, cider. The cider is not adequately being satisfied. Okay. And they need faith. What kind of faith? Oh, a chapel. Because, well, the other things aren't open yet. There are other types of churches later on in the game. Now, just because you have, say, an upgraded version, like an actual church and not just a chapel, you still need the chapel. So. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now these are... Oh, I discovered him. Now these are together. They do not share... I will teach you about honor too. They do not share fields. You still have to make your four fields. Now, most of this is within the exposed area, so it counts. It's weird. And three and four. Now, we have four. And now we can start upgrading. Oh, we got citizens? Yes, we did. Ooh. Because we satisfied the four things that they needed. The food, the company, the drink, and the chapel. They became citizens. Okay? And they're moving in. Now they need linen garments and amusement. See, house advanced. Now, my main thing when I play this... I want to get up here. 240 citizens. Because once I can do this, I don't have to worry. Because it takes uh, tools for them to upgrade. That's the only way I can think of it. We're going to need more tools soon. We're hemorrhaging 21 gold per. So how do we fix that? We build more houses. It's the only way to fix it. And we don't have enough logs. Because as they level up, they also take wood. How do I know this? Uh, let me see. Let me see if I can find what I'm looking for. Here it is, right here. This says you cannot automatically ascend. I need to give you permission to ascend. See this up and down arrow? He wants to go up. One wood, one tool. That's what he wants. So right now we said no. We can build a stonemason hut. Now if you click on this, whew, it opens up. There are three stone deposits on the island, and as I click, I can see them. One of them just happens to be within the area of this. Iron deposit, a bear cave. I've never been able to figure out the bear cave. Maybe I'll figure it out. So, see how this lights up green? It means it's within its sphere of influence. And we can place it right there. Then do this. I hate that it goes out like like it did the arm. <laughs> this is the way I wanted it to go. It gives me more room. Now, <coughs> they will automatically go mine the stone. <laughs> See? And yes, you can rotate the map. Hold down the middle mouse. Boom. Rotation. And then they will make stone. Now, attunement. Attunement is these things. Alright, hold on. Let me see. Where am I? I'm up in this far corner. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
Where am I? Here. Okay. Let's go here. Now, see how I can buy this stuff? Mm, excuse me. And this stuff is locked? I can buy it. Unlock it. With honor. Okay. Unlock it, honor. And this is citizen goods. This is what you can get opened, unlocked, because you have citizens. Now, these are good for your ship. And they, they change. You can actually randomly choose to get something different. These are usually fertilities. The, the little pouch here is usually fertility. It means it adds the that type of fertility to the island. See how it, there's a question mark there? Question mark there, there. Most I Ooh, I want to settle you. Are you uninhabited? You are. I want to get here quick. Oh, it doesn't matter. Okay, there's no... Hmm, there's no river, though. That's the only bad thing. There's a river here. Mm, that's where I am. That's you. There's a river here. It's uninhabited. I like it. We're going to go claim it. After I stop off. Well, this is the price that I can buy the tools from. 20 tools at 77 gold per ton. And he has 20 tons. Okay? Now, eventually, I can sell stuff like that too. But right now, I'm just trying to get enough people to make it so that I'm good to go. And I have 34 tons of fish. Ready? I need two wood, four brick, and three tools. And I have four tools. There's a brick. I have four right there. Gotta wait. See, again, with just the one person. Auto save. And slowly, until I press the plus sign, and boom. And right there it shows you. There we go. I want to actually upgrade this one. Now see how it's upgraded? I have one guy there. And th there should be another guy that'll come out. But I think it's only one guy because he doesn't have that much to do. He goes here, he goes here, he comes back, goes here, comes back. And yes, I can upgrade it again later on. Now that I am here, let's click on him start trade I want all that you have and you can drop how much tonnage you want one ton ten ton all of it and we want all of it and then we're gonna go back here here we go you still say start trade even though it's your home port. There's a reason why I'm doing it. Because I want this island. No. This island. Before anyone else claims it. So we're going to go here. Super fast. And now I'm making money. Land ho. Nope. And I know if I had a smaller map. But I never play any games on a regular size map. There we go. We own this. Now we can go back here and drop off some of those tools. There we go. Now, this is a ship from him. Trying to see if you have anything to trade. Which you can go into the trade window and set that up. And I will explain that at some point. Now, all these people want to upgrade, and here we go. We have enough for 90 citizens out of 128. We have enough room for 218 citizens, 22 houses. 
we don't have enough for them to actually upgrade so we shall wait and let's see he has 82 for seven let's see garibaldi's here Ooh, 25 tons for 66 hmm? let us go see garibaldi eventually garibaldi will give me a quest Here he goes. Well, not him, but uh, offering a quest. Each time. Oh, your leaf. Congratulations. I want all of that. Yes, please. Thank you. Okay, this dude wants me to go here. Now, these things, they will give you um, rewards. Usually, it's honor, which you need. It's currency. But occasionally, they'll give you other stuff, too. I need more citizens. We don't have enough. We don't have anything for Patriarchs yet. They're not getting their fulfillment for their shirts, which they need hemp, which we have hemp. We can make hemp on this island. Requires tools, requires tools. No, we cannot. We're going to wait. This is the Orient. The islands are a bit different. Oop. Hold on. Do, 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 do. Did we find it? We did find it. So we go right back to him. Oop. And there's a sabotage. Saboteur. Somewhere. You have to find him. And sometimes you can't find them. If you don't find them... Then they're like, oh, you didn't catch the saboteur, and bad things sometimes happen. But since I have the beginnings, yep, he disappeared. Well, hypersensitive. I didn't do it. All right. My ship's right there. See how slow it is? <sighs> Oh well, my alarm just went off, so... Oh, they're signing a trade treaty, yay! Well, this is Lady Panaz saying thank you for joining me for the first episode of Dawn of Discovery. I hope you're enjoying it. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below. And as always, let your geek flag fly. Bye!